YouTube, what is happening? Welcome back, welcome back. There's a freaking Porsche hiding over there in the cut. Do you guys see it? If I zoom in a little bit. That's crazy. How's everybody doing today? Somebody was asking me, how do they use the damn paddle shifters? Or all, why do I always use my paddles and not leave it in drive? Um, I guess today we're gonna go ahead and explain why. Because I like to feel engaged and connected to my car. And um, before I've owned a manual transmission car, so um, shifting gears and controlling the gears, up, up shift, down shift, um, really makes me feel like I'm in control of the car more. And um, if you need a fucking downshift or running somebody, you know, drop a couple of gears and dick it, you know what I mean? But the mindset of being in each gear has always stuck to me. Yes, my very first car it was a manual. It was, I never owned an automatic and you know, you know, I'm always used to it. So this S4 is actually my first automatic performance car in a way with a dual clutch transmission, whatever. So being that I control the, uh, um, the paddles, you know, the downshift right here, the upshift over here. Uh, it gives me a nice sense of feel of like manual, you know what I mean? Without the clutch, obviously, because it's fucking automatic. But it shifts super fast. It's definitely like driving in automatic mode, except you're controlling the gears, you know what I mean? Like you're, you actually got a downshift to a lower gear when you slow down. And uh, to upshift to a different gear, you hit this one. So basically, now we're in M1. I always drive mine in manual too, like manual mode, M1 mode. So here you go. Like it's so satisfying too. And the way these DSG shift is so crazy, man. I gotta take it easy because it's been hot out lately, and uh, people are trying to be a yo ass. But look at this downshift, ready? Boom, immediately. So it's just like you go from fourth to third in the, tra in the manual, but this stage just hit the paddle. So it's more of a chill car. It'll never be like a manual for sure, but it does shift a lot faster than a manual car. Um, so for those of you who ask me how to use it, you basically drive it like a normal, like a manual car. When you come to a stop, uh, you start off in first gear and then uh, you gotta shift at a certain RPM or you can just fucking bounce on red line and uh, see what happens there but like as you see I go to two three thousand RPM then you just up shift you can see it right there the M3 M4 wait, M1 M2 those are <clears throat> that indicates what gear you're in to show you that you're in like manual three or manual four mode gear um, so yeah it'll help you out a lot um, I feel like it's better for like doing pulls and races too so that way you don't just like stomp on the gas pedal hoping it goes into the right gear and stuff like that you know what I mean so that way I know what gear I want to take off of or I, or I know what gear I want to run in I'll just downshift to that gear and I'll just take off and like especially for this car driving in manual mode I feel so much more engaged and connected um, driving D mode sucks like it feels like a Prius that's acting crazy um, sports mode is alright, you know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like I'm forgetting the shift or downshift whenever they, whenever it shifts or downshift by itself. So, I don't know. I like the engagement of, you know, shifting up and down. Like, look, boom, downshift. Almost like a manual, same shit. Look at that, boom. What the heck is this car doing, bro? And that supercharger wind up. <laughs> dynamic mode with the uh, dynamic in M mode is crazy. Beamer. Yeah, um, man. Um, if it, is it harmful for your car? I don't think so. Um, I honestly drive my car like this every single day. I've probably never put this car in drive or sports mode to be honest it never been in sports mode it only go in drive mode that like drive through or some shit but 100 percent of the time i throw this shit in manual mode bro so and i'm so used to it by now so it's just like taking off in first gear you know what i mean so right now let me see first gear first gear shift to second see 
you need nothing hard about it. So it's down shift. Man, that sounds good. <laughs> Shifts are so satisfying. For people who aren't used to it, it might be hard at first, but you gotta remember like what gear you're in, but it'll show you right here like M1, M2, M4. So like now I'm in M4, let me downshift to like third and then give it a little hit. Like as you see the shifts is immediately and you control it. Shift when you want. That's why you see a lot of guys use the paddles because it's so much more controllable and more engaging in your car, especially for this supercharged S4, because all that power up top, woo wee, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it's just like, I'm a uh, fast guy, fast guy, where you going, fast guy? I never chill around here. Everybody assumed that since my car is red and it's sporty, I'm supposed to like dick it or freaking drive reckless and fast all the damn time. So I can never chill. Like it's so nice to control it. How can you not want to control it? I know a lot of people be busting on my freaking paddle shifters. But they're red, real red carbon fiber, all right? It's not fake. Um, it's a media downshift, look at that. Once you click it, it reacts right away. Downshift, boom, thank you. That's crazy. It's so smooth too, which is, which is awesome. I guess it also comes down to preference. If you guys like to drive it in D mode and S mode, that's on you. But I'm just saying, uh, and I'm just answering the question. I feel like I feel like nobody really made a video describing how to use the paddles. Um, it's basically like controlling a manual car with gears. So yes, every car that has like the negative and positive, that's that's for controlling your gears. Not every car. New cars nowadays might have it for different purposes, but. Um, majority of the time is for like downshift and upshift so negative and positive like up the gear and down gear so uh yeah you can go ahead and give it a try even if your car is just a regular freaking acro tl type s they have it and they're actually good for your car too like a lot of those q50s they don't have like a dual plus trans but they still got like the tiptronic the gears and paddles and stuff um i feel like i feel like it helps you control and maximize the power out of it i don't know that's just me but uh, let me know what you guys think. Do y'all drive your car in manual mode or do you guys drive it in sports mode or drive mode? Um, yeah, so uh, let me know, guys. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.